Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today in this session we are going to learn about profiles in Catalan Studio. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So when we do testing, we may have to run our tests on different environments. We generally run our test on a QA environment and then we can also have a regression environment or maybe a staging or a sandbox environment. So in that case, the feature called profiles in Catalan Studio can be very, very useful. So we will understand what is this profiles or environment in Catalan Studio? How do we create the profiles? And we will see a step by step demo. So let's get started. And here execution profiles or we can call it as environments in Catalan Studio give us an option by where we can store some variables at a global level and then we can use them in our test cases or anywhere in our project okay so generally in a real world when we do our testing we may have to run our test on multiple environments maybe a queue environment regression environment and a staging pre-production etc now here the steps will remain the same let's say you are doing a login uh, you are testing a login scenario so steps remain same we go to the url we enter the username the password and then click on the login button however the values may change for example the url of the application on a queue environment may be different from a regression environment the username and password may be different so in that case either you will have to manually change the values every time you want to run on a different environment or you have to keep separate test cases all this is uh, not very efficient you it, there is manual intervention and then whenever you have to make any changes you will have to go and make changes everywhere so this is not a very good and efficient process so therefore we have profiles so we have some environment dependent parameters in our tests for example the url it depends on environment that is it changes with the environment the credentials username password etc if you are dealing with database database settings may change with different environments the user profiles may change and therefore we have to have some way where we can handle these changes within our test case without having to make copies of our test case and without having to change these values manually whenever we want to run on different environments okay so here if i go to my catalan studio you can check in the test explorer at the top you will see profiles okay and profiles you can create multiple profiles there is a default profile by default you will see a default profile and then if you want you can create new profiles as well so here profiles basically are global variables so you can create global variables here and then you can refer them in your test cases and then you can also select what profile do you want to use while running the test okay that we will see in a moment okay so here step number one is open the default execution profile which we have already opened here so from profiles go to the default profile here then after this we will create variables as needed so for doing this demo let us very quickly create a test so i'm going to my test cases folder and i will do a right click and create a new test case and i will call it as let's say profiles demo you can name it anything and here uh, let us very quickly do a recording so i will click on this record web and here i will use a demo website so let me try a different demo website there is a orange hrm demo website is there let us start with this one or you can use this try testing this here also if you scroll down you will have a login scenario here or let me just use this one this is a simple demo website here the username is admin and password is admin123 so we will record this i will give the url here let me just copy the url from here and i will paste it here okay, and i will click on record so it opens the browser and goes to the application and here i will go to the username add the username then password admin123 and click on login okay and that's it i don't want uh, other things for now i just want to keep it very simple i will stop the recording and 
save the script okay so here you can see we have got our test recorded now let's say these values the url the username and the password these as of now are hard coded here and let's say we recorded this we created this test for a QA environment so these are as per the QA environment these values but if we want to run the same test on a regression environment these will change so now what I will have to do is I will have to manually come here and then change these values for running it on a different environment or I will have to keep copies of this test case for different environments but then whenever there is any change in any of the test case I will have to go and make changes everywhere so that is also not a very good option so here what I will do is I will create global variables in the profile for all these values that I need in my test case and that will change with environment so let's say I will go to profiles and you can use a default profile or let us say I will first go to the go to a default profile and click on add here and I will make these variables URL then I will add another variable username now for global variables it is a, a good practice to use uppercase letters it's not mandatory but it is a good practice to use uppercase letters for global variables and password now I can give some default value for example here I will give the URL which is this okay then username I will say is admin and password because we are using encrypted text there let me show you here in the test case if I go back to the test case you can see the keyword used for setting the password is set encrypted text and therefore the password is in a encrypted format therefore I will have to also go here and say value type uh, string and this is what I will give the value so I will I can go to help to encrypt the text I can go to help and encrypt text and I will say admin123 copy and close and this is the password value I'm going to use okay so we have created the global variables in the profile and the variables that we create in the profile are global variables okay now in the test case I will remove the hard-coded values and refer the values from these global variables make sure that you have saved your project okay now go back to the test case and here in place of this URL so I will double click here URL value and under the value type column I will say I want to get it from global variable and as you do this this value will become a drop down and it will show you all the global variables present in your project and make sure that you have saved your project only after that it will be shown here so here I will select URL and say okay same thing for the username I will double click the value value type I will change to global variable and here I will select username variable and say okay and same thing for the password again I will say it is coming from global variable and this is the password okay so this is what we have done these are the changes we have done we are now referring these values from our global variables or from the profiles make sure that you save your test and just run it once just to make sure that everything is fine the referencing is proper and it is running okay Okay, so it has started it opens the browser goes to the let's see if it goes to the application yes it goes to the application that means the reference is working fine and username and password and login and login was successful although we are not checking after logging we are not verifying anything but it was okay and you can see we are able to run our test by referring the 
values from the profile variables or the global variables now if you go to the script mode of your test case you can also check how it is shown in scripts so you can see in script instead of hard coding we are just saying global variable dot url so here if you want to go to the script and run you can just say global variable if i press control plus space on my keyboard it will auto complete and then if i say dot and it will show us all the global variables so there are a lot of other global variables as well that you can use but these are the user created global variables in the profiles password url and username okay so you can see this same thing for username it is referring it like this okay so we are done with this now we are we have made sure that our test is running fine by referring values from the global variables or from the profile variables now we will copy this profile and create more profiles as per the number of environments we want to run our tests on let's say we have two extra environments qa and regression so i will copy this profile you can just say control c and control v or command c and command v if you are on mac or you can just do a right click here and say copy and click on profiles folder and say paste again i will click on profiles folder and say paste so i copied it two times now i will rename this you can press f2 or say rename and this i will make as a q environment and again this i will rename let's say as a regression environment okay now you can just go here and change these values as per the environment values so let's say for q and regression you can change the url username and password as per the values you want and then when you want to run your test case we just have to change the profile from this drop down here so you will see all your profiles will come here let's say now i want to run the same test on a qa profile i will just change it from here and run my test then i want to run it on a regression environment i will just change it from here and then run my test so now it is very easy very efficient and we can directly run it on any environment we just have to create profiles once and then we can run on any environment so basically profiles give us an option to create global variables and then use these variables anywhere in our project and then we can switch the profiles from here so the best use is uh handling environments or handling uh, our testing running our tests on multiple environments but then you can use it as you wish as per your need if you have any option any need where you want to change the values as per different profiles or environments or whatever is your use case you can use it that way okay so we have done this we have selected the profile and we can run the test and now for a test suite and test suite collections too we can select the profiles for example if i go to a test suite we had created test suites in our last to last session i believe okay if i go to test suites here again to run it on any environment or dif with different profiles i will just select the profile from here and then run the test suite and when i go to test suite collection here you can see we have a profile column so when we learned about test suite collections i told you that uh, we will see how to use profiles later on so now you can understand here i can ch change the profile so let's say qa environment this is regression so i can run the same test on multiple profiles at once using a test suite collection we can also run in sequential or parallel again we also have option to run it on a different browser so let's say i want to run my test suite this test suite on a chrome browser on a qa profile and then i want to run the same test suite on a firefox browser on a let us say a regression profile okay so this is also how we can use it and it makes our testing very very efficient okay so this is how we can use profiles in catalon studio i hope this was very interesting and useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning